Hi, UMaze. Welcome to our video. My name is Sung Hee Yoon. I'm the Director of Technology and Innovation at UMaze. And before I say anything else, I wanted to tell you that all the directors at UMaze, myself included, we miss you guys. We miss seeing you guys in person. We miss all of our in-person activities. Um, but because we miss you so much, we wanted to make these videos for you. We wanted to provide you with ideas and resources that you can use at home with your family. So I hope you find them useful and I hope that we can see you guys in person in the future, but we miss you and thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy these videos. Bye. Hey, this is Becky and Melissa and we're here today to talk to you about adaptive kayaking. When you're going out on the water, you want to make sure you have the proper safety precautions. First thing is to have a proper personal flotation device or life jacket. Make sure that you have the proper size. Usually the labeling will be here on the inside as far as chest size and weight limit for the jacket. When putting on your life jacket, you want to make sure that all the straps are fastened properly. Make sure it's snug. You don't want your shoulder straps to be riding near your ears. You want to make sure it's properly in place so that it is in the correct position. During our adaptive kayaking outings, we always have a safety boat um, with a uh, second person who has a uh, flotation device. Just for an extra layer of protection. Now we're going to go over some of the adaptations that have been made for adaptive kayaking. This includes our outrigger system, our wheels, our seating system, and our paddle. This is our outrigger system. The outriggers provide more stability to the boat and help prevent it from tipping almost all of the time. The further away from each other they are, the better stability they provide to the boat. The closer in they are, the more like a regular kayak experience you have. These wheels are very lightweight and help us get the kayak in and out of the water on a beach setting. They allow us to wheel the kayak almost fully into the water, release the wheels from the kayak system easily, and then allow the kayak to float down into the waterway. As you can see, this kayak has two seats, making it a tandem kayak. The front seat is for somebody who has a special need or needs adaptations. The back seat is for their partner. The front seat has a special seat which has two sets of trunk control. Two options for trunk control that can be raised or lowered as the person needs it. It also has a specialty cushion that's made for water sports. You adjust the specialty cushion using air so it adjusts to your specific needs and then if it gets wet, it's not ruined. Our final piece of equipment we're gonna talk about is the paddle. There are several ways you can adapt a paddle and the one I have here allows a person to slide their hand in and then you screw this down just a little bit until it grips firmly on the hand. This allows a person to comfortably paddle as independently as possible. This is an example of an adaptive boat launch. Uh, we, you see we have several heights of seating here and a pull-out tra sliding transfer bench that allows for easy access into the kayak.
All right, you mays, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep checking back for more videos we'll be making in the future. But until then, stay safe, go blue, and go you mays. <laughs>